Today I will be teaching you how to make a trapezoid using a compass and a straight edge. A trapezoid by definition has two parallel lines and is a quadrilateral which means it is a four-sided figure. We're going to start with line L and point P. We're going to connect point P through line L using our straight edge. You can make it at any angle you like. I personally prefer this angle right here. You want to extend it past P by as much as you can because we're going to have to work up here above P. We have a new intersection which means we have a new point. We're going to label this point X. We're going to take our compass put it on X. It can be at any setting you like at this point. Pick a setting that is comfortable, because you're going to have to use it again. We're going to put our point on X, and draw an arc. We're going to keep it at that same setting and put our point on P, and once again, draw an arc. You want to make it as big as you can, because we're going to try and find a point in this area to connect P to. We now have three new intersections. So we're going to label A, B, and C. We need to measure the distance between B and A. Okay, we got that. Personally, I prefer to turn the page. It just makes it easier for me to work with the compass. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. We now need to make a new arc just big enough so it crosses through this old arc through C. This new point I'm going to label D. We're going to connect P to D. Now we have two parallel lines. X, A or line L through X point X and A and this line we can call M through P and D. We can now connect D to line L at any angle you like. I'm going to go with something extreme like this one. We now have a trapezoid. You can't really see it around all this extra stuff, but if you look, we have this. We have, here, let's label this point Y. So we have PX, PX, XY, YD, and PD. And P, D, and X, Y are parallel. So we have trapezoid P, D, Y, X. And there you go. That's how you make a trapezoid using a...